Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Meta Reviews here once again, doing another edition in my series where I'm counting down my favorite bands from a given country. So I've only done one video in this series so far. I started with doing my homeland of Canada. I went through like my top 25 favorite current and past Canadian metal bands. And in that video, I put in there to get some requests for what country you guys would like to see me do next. And the most common one that I got was France. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite metal bands from France. So I've got about 20 here that I'll go through fairly quickly. I'll just mention the band names and a little bit about them. Just kind of let you know what they're all about and that why I think you should go check them out. But as I was making this list, like I didn't spend a ton of time on this, just kind of going off the top of my head, bands that stick out to me. But what I've realized is that I know a lot of black metal bands from France, but when it comes to other subgenres of metal, I might have a little bit of a blind spot when it comes to bands from France. Like out of these 20 or so bands, I think I only have like one power metal band, one melodic death metal band, not really any like old school death metal or just like classic heavy metal like traditional heavy metal, nothing like that. So I would love to get some recommendations down below of bands I should check out from France, especially outside of black metal. As you'll see, I do, I have a lot of experience with the black metal from France. Pretty much, I think 18 out of 20 of the bands I'm gonna talk about are black metal. But of course, give me some additional recommendations as well, just in case I haven't heard of them. Um, of course, I'm not naming every band that I know from France, just my favorite ones. But yeah, I would love to get some recommendations, especially outside of black metal. Give me some other stuff to listen to. Always love hearing from others. And yeah, I would like to know which bands I'm missing out on because I feel like I just have a little bit of a blind spot here when it comes to the other subgenres. But anyways, let's just get right into this. So as I said, this is going to be very dominated by black metal. So if you're not into black metal, you probably won't like most of these bands, but there might still be a couple in there for you. So let's kick this off. Coming in at number 20, I'm going with the band END, or E-N-D-E. -E. I will put all these band names down below just in case I mispronounce any of these. This is just like some raw, old school black metal. Very solid stuff. Definitely worth checking out if you're into anything in that vein. At number 19, I'll go with Bellor. They are definitely a newer band, more in the epic, atmospheric black metal vein, kind of similar to a band like Summoning or Kaladin Brood. If you're into anything like that, definitely go check out Balor. They did just have a really good album last year from 2021 titled Artifacts, which was really solid. So definitely go give that a spin if you have not heard it. Up next at number 18, more black metal with Aosoth. So these guys, I'm pretty sure they are split up now. They did release like five albums. They're all very solid black metal releases. So definitely go check them out if you have not. At number 17, more black metal, this time with Worms, W-Y-R-M-S. So this is some like aggressive old school black metal, but they really bring in a lot of keyboards and like ambient passages as well. Um, they haven't released anything in a while. I think their last album was from like 2018, and I will probably mispronounce how to say it. It's like Altus Cronor Le Monarch Putrefaces or something like that. But that was an absolutely stellar album. Listened to that one a shit ton when it came out. And uh, yeah, definitely go give that a listen and listen to their whole discography as well. Up next at number 16, Ferritarium. So this is some more like straight up black metal, very solid stuff. Uh, another one that just had a really great album come out last year from 2021 titled Calver. Just really solid stuff. Great drumming, great riffing, swirling atmospheres. Really solid. Definitely go check them out. And number 15, I'm kind of cheating here. I'm lumping a bunch of bands in together. Of course, I'm talking about LLN or Les Legion, Les Legion Noir. So this, of course, was like the black metal circle in France in the early to mid 90s. Um, yeah, so mentioning the whole group, but definitely go check out all the bands from this if you're into like the old school black metals. They're very like raw, bad production. Like some of these are almost unlistenable. They're that bad, but then there's some gems in there too. So I'm not going to list off all the bands here. Just go research it and check them out. But my favorite ones would probably be Mutilation and Vlad Tepes. So definitely go check out those bands. They're solid, but there's a ton in that scene as well that are worth listening to. Up next at number 14, may have a, maybe more of an unknown one, Osculum Infame. So this is like some epic black metal with a lot of keyboards, 
They had only released one album for a long time from 1997, Door New Foglith, which is absolutely amazing, like extremely solid album. Then they did reunite and release another album like way later in I think like 2015 or 2016. That album to me wasn't quite on the same level. So if you're gonna go check these guys out, just go listen to that 1997 album, Door New Foglith. Whew, it'll blow your socks off. Absolutely stellar stuff. Underrated gem. Please go listen to it if you have not. Up next at number 13, I'm going with Dark and Hold. So this is some medieval black metal. You'll probably see as I keep going in this list, there's a lot of bands that bring in these medieval elements. And France just really does that style of black metal better than most other countries, in my opinion. And this band is, like, is a perfect example of that. They have five albums, and they're all just really solid. If you're into medieval black metal at all, definitely go check out Dark and Hold. Up next at number 12, I'm going with Vindland. This is like some black or slash Viking metal, very much in the vein of a band like Windir. Almost like truly inspired by Windir, not just a clone. They're doing their own thing with it, but definitely very inspired by that sound. They have only released one album from 2016, Haunter Sabet, but it's absolutely stellar. I hope they release some more. I'm not too sure if they're even still active, but definitely go check out Vindland if you have not. Up next at number 11, I'm going with Seth. Another black metal band, you'll see these first 10 albums I talk about have all been black metal. These guys have been going out a very long time, I think over 20 years. They did just put out a new album last year, La Morgeur de Christ, which was stellar, really solid stuff. It was in my top 50 albums of the year, and definitely a band worth checking out. In at number 10, now we're into the top 10, my 10 favorite metal bands from France. Number 10, I'm going with Alceste. So these guys have had a varying career. They started out very much in the black metal vein, then kind of switched to more like shoegazy, post-black metal kind of stuff. Their more recent stuff, I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. There's still some good stuff in there, but they do have a couple really solid albums, like Cal de Lune is stellar, really solid stuff. So I'm still putting it in my top 10, even though I don't necessarily love everything they're doing now. They do have a handful of good releases that uh, I still enjoy to this day. Up next at number nine, finally a break from the black metal. Hey, the... I said there was one power metal band here and I'm putting them in my top 10. Kind of hard to rank a power metal band amidst a bunch of black metal bands. Pretty much impossible. You can't even compare the two different genres. But I really like these guys a lot. I think they're a solid power metal band and that is Heavenly. So they've been around a while. They actually haven't released anything in quite some time. But uh, they have a couple really solid releases like Sign of the Winner and Dust to Dust is a concept album, which is absolutely stellar. The vocalist is amazing, really great riffs and solos, well, some like piano parts in there too. Just if you're into power metal and all and haven't heard Heavenly, definitely go check them out. Really solid stuff. Up next at number eight, I am going with Pesta Noir. So yeah, say what you will about these guys. I mean, obviously some controversy around them, but uh, they play a very unique blend of like experimental, folky black metal. The riff writing is so melodic, but so unique. And they've just got some really good stuff. Like of course their album, La Sani de Siècle, probably mispronouncing that. I think that was from 2006 or something. Absolutely stellar, a benchmark in French black metal for sure. And they've Maybe their whole career has been a little inconsistent. I don't love everything they've done, but there's still some other good stuff in there too, like Folk Fuck Folly. And they even put out an album last year too, Le Retour de Pastoreau, which was pretty solid. A lot of great guitar melodies in there as well. So don't write them off just because of whatever you might hear about them. There's still some good music in there and they're definitely worth checking out. Up next at number seven, I'm going with Not Black Metal. This is the melodic death metal band I'm talking about. And they're a more recent band as well, Aphonemer. So they play like a very unique symphonic bl bl melodic death metal, maybe much in the same vein as like a Winter Sun or Children of Bodom, but they're doing their own thing with it. Uh, it's female vocals and she's really solid, kind of sounds like Jeff Walker from Carcass a little bit. And then uh, you bring in these really great guitar solos and just overall symphonics and it's just really catchy stuff. Their last two albums have been absolutely stellar. Procopton from 2019 and A Dream of Wilderness from 2021. So if you haven't heard Aphonemer, definitely do yourself a favor and go check them out. Up next at number six, I'm going with Hunter Nas. So this is some folk and black metal. 
really solid stuff. Their vocalist Hivermore is in a lot of bands that I absolutely love. Like he's in Pedrets, which is another folky black metal band. I'm not didn't include them on this list because they only released one album last year. But if they release more, they can crack it onto this list for sure. But Hand to Raws. They've been around a long time. Their album from last year, Of Fleuve de Loire, I think I put as my number two or number three favorite album for the year. It's that solid. If you're into folky black metal at all, definitely give this one a listen. It is so good. And I'm not done talking about Hivermore either. He will make it another appearance on this list near the top. So check out that when I get there. Now into the top five, my top five favorite ba metal bands from France. So coming in at number five, I'm going with Eorlac. Probably mispronouncing that. I will put it down below. I never know how to say it. But this is some more medieval black metal. Very melodic, but just really solid stuff. I believe they have four albums, and they're all really solid. Like, all really killer stuff. Obviously, I'm putting it in my top five. I really enjoy it. Um, really solid stuff. Definitely go check them out. Up next at number four, I'm going with Blutos Nord. So this is some more like atmospheric black metal, avant-garde black metal. They do a lot of different experimentation, even from album to album. Their sound can change. They've had a very long and varied career, but they've been consistently good. Just really solid stuff. Definitely deserved a high spot on my list. Up next at number three, I'm going with Essoc Trillium. So this is a one-man black metal band, but there's definitely a lot going on. Just categorizing this as black metal doesn't really paint the full picture like hints of death metal, then even like some Middle Eastern vibes in parts. It's very strange, very unique. The vocals are very strange as well, but I really like this a lot. The last couple albums, they've done Eternity of Shiog and Death Requiem of the Serpent Telepath, I believe it's called. Absolutely stellar stuff, really solid. If you haven't checked them out, definitely do yourself a favor and listen to them. I think they put out six albums in like five years, so very prolific. But yeah, go check them out. Now in at number two, I am going with Death Spell Omega. So of course, these guys, very avant-garde black metal, really create their, their own unique sound, very dissonant. Um, it's like they were almost genre-defining. They, defining. they started out more in like traditional black metal, and then they put out their trilogy of absolutely solid albums, which I can never pronounce. I always struggle with them, but... Three albums in a row that were all solved. The last one is Paracletus. I can pronounce that one, but listen to all three of those if you haven't. They're absolutely amazing. They kind of took black metal and turned it on its head and showed you a whole different side of what you could do within there with different experimentation and very complex riff structures, very like off timing things. It's just very unique, but very solid, really solid stuff. That's why they're in at number two. So that just leaves one, a band that has risen the ranks has easily become my favorite bl black metal band from France, just my favorite metal band from France, and they're quickly becoming one of my favorite metal bands overall. I am, of course, talking about Vehemence. So their vocalist, as I mentioned before, is Hivermore, who's also in Pedrets and Hanternaz, and a folk band called Grill, and a ton of other projects, absolutely stellar vocalists. Um, their guitar player that writes most of the songs is absolutely amazing, too. They've got such a unique way of playing these super melodic riffs, bring in all this medieval folky stuff as well. It's just epic as all fuck. So goddamn good. I love this band so much. Uh, they've got three albums. They're all worth listening to, but especially the last two, Parla Sang Burst from 2019 was easily my favorite album from that year. And they just had a new album come out this year, Ordalese, which so far is my favorite album from 2022 as well. So yeah, anyways. If you haven't heard any of these bands, I strongly suggest you go check them out. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'd love to hear your recommendations down below too. Give me some other bands that I've missed. And uh, yeah, until next time, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Hammerheart Metal Reviews, out!